What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6 for the 10.70 update that just got released. So I'm just going to show you that my console was updated, it's good to go, and I'm going to actually show you the section and the notifications, if you see it, you can see in downloads, or I actually say, yeah, I guess in downloads, fine. You can see system system software version 10.70 was updated successfully and installed. Now, if you are able to come to this video before you did the update, I would highly advise you to stop the update. Like if you see it happening on the top, delete the file. Do not do the update from the console itself. And I'm going to show you where to actually do the update because over there is where you're going to get a fixed proper or updated properly I should say so you don't have to go through these errors and issues that folks are kind of sadly going through so what you're going to do is if you are like I said if it's still happening just click into options when you come into download and just delete it or pause the update right and then we're gonna go from the safe mode section where we're gonna do it so what you want to do is you want to hold on to the power button on your PlayStation 4 controller and you want to do turn off PlayStation 4 not restart not enter rest mode we're gonna completely wait for it to turn off and you'll see there's like a white light on the side of the PlayStation 4 that'll uh, flash it doesn't matter if it's a slim or a pro any PlayStation 4 it doesn't matter you just want to wait for it to completely turn off. Like I said, no restart, no rest mode. We're going to wait for it to be completely turned off to be able to move on to the next step, which is essentially entering into safe mode. So let's give it a few seconds and wait for it to turn off. Still flashing. All right, so it has stopped flashing. Once you do that happens, you want to hold on to the power button and you wait for it to hear two beeps. My PlayStation doesn't make noises anymore, so I kind of instinctively wait, hold for like 10, eight to 10 seconds. And I will let go. So once you kind of do that, you'll see it on the screen right here. It'll say, boom, safe mode. So on the top left side, you can see that, and it says connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PlayStation button. So you need to have a pretty much this DualShock 4 controller. PlayStation controller basically and the wire connected to it directly and to your PlayStation 4 if you don't do this it's not gonna work because otherwise you just can't do it there's no Bluetooth connection you have to have a real-life wire connection and you need to use the d-pad you cannot use the analog stick so just an FYI a lot of folks say I can't use it you got to use the d-pad all right once you're in here we're gonna do a few things on how to essentially fix this the first thing you need to do oh not this one is rebuild the database it says it might take a few hours it's kind of true it depends on how bad your database section is but you need to do this you need to get your database rebuilt first that's the first thing you need to do and once you do this it's going to restart the playstation 4 and you're going to have to turn it off again and come back into safe mode again but you have to do this first so be sure you do this first and then move on from there once you have rebuilt the database we're going to go into option number three and then click into option number three again. We're gonna do update using the internet first. You can, as you saw, I was already installed, but I can reinstall from here. A lot of times, if you're having other issues and errors, you can always just do this and reinstall the file and get uh, the, the update, sorry, the firmware and get rid of a lot of these issues. So you're going to pretty much then come back here, do this section, press next, and do the installation for version 10.70 for the PlayStation 4 from here. It should take a couple hours, maybe quicker, maybe longer, and then get it done. And then you should hopefully be good to go. And either if you were having the error, not have it. And if you were doing the update, you should be good to go. If this doesn't work, what you're gonna do next is come back, turn off your console completely. I'm gonna show a video. There's a vid link in the description below on how to do it, but you're gonna install the update onto your USB. So you're gonna place it into the USB, which you get directly from Sony's website. And it says it right there, connect the USB storage device that contains an update file for version 10.70 or later. You can download the update file from PlayStation.com. Like I said, I have a video in the description below. You pretty much put the update on that USB. You put it into the console. The console has to be turned off and then into, into the PlayStation 4, you turn on the PlayStation 4 via safe mode, you go back into safe mode, you come here and you press OK, and then it'll start to install the update. So make sure it's a clean USB, there's nothing there. I think you have to do certain formats into like FAT32 or whatnot. I have everything explained in the video. So you're gonna do all of that and then come here and press OK. A lot of times, the issue can happen due to a network error, hence why the update is failing. So updating via the internet fails you through that. So you wanna do it through the USB. You can technically do it through a disk. I don't know how that one works. I think it's a similar process. I think you just download the update from Sony, you burn it onto the disk and, and then the disk does it. I don't know how this one works. I wouldn't recommend it. The USB works 99% of the time, so I would highly, highly, highly recommend you go down the USB route. Now, if for whatever reason that failed, hopefully not, but if for whatever reason that failed, you're gonna move on to option number six. 
This is going to initialize your PlayStation 4. What that means is it's basically going to delete all users and all data will be deleted from the PlayStation 4. So everything is going to get deleted and it's going to reinstall everything from scratch on your console via the internet for your PlayStation 4. So this is like your last resort options. If for whatever reason you did the, the rebuilding of the database and installing via the internet, that failed, and installing via the USB and that failed, you're gonna come here and you're gonna try to install it via this method. Like I said, this is going to delete everything. So just kind of be cognizant of that when you do do this. Okay, so just an FYI there. And uh, if you don't have PlayStation Plus, your save data is most likely gone. There's no way for you to save or save the save data. That kind of sucks. I wish there was a section here that said, hey, let's just back it up into this drive or something or like an external hard drive or USB. Sadly, you cannot do that. Now, there's an option. There's a possibility, sorry, that this fails as well. And then you're going to go to option number seven. It's similar to six, but the only difference is you install it via a USB device. I also have a video on this. It will be in the description below. Very similar to the updating via the USB internet, uh, USB device, sorry. You're doing an update for the reinstallation of the file via a USB device. So it says connect the USB storage device that contains an update file for reinstallation for version 10.70 or later. You can download the update file for reinstallation for place.com. Very similar thing. You have a clean USB file uh, drive, sorry, which you put the file in. It's like a simple file. It's nothing crazy. Uh, you put it in and it, it walks you through. My video walks you through and Sony as well walks you through exactly what to do. That should make sure that's the only thing into the USB drive. Make sure it's the right format I think it needs to be fat 32 I don't recall it's in the video and that's pretty much it that's all you need to do press OK and it'll start doing the reinstallation but very similarly this is going to delete everything from your console your users are going to get deleted your data is going to get deleted your games are going to get deleted so you're going to have to re-sign back in re-download the games if you had PlayStation Plus you should be fine if you did not have PlayStation Plus most and or at least cloud turn on cloud saves you're most likely screwed from that sense you're not going to have those games and you're going to be in a very bad situation hopefully you don't have to come to this hopefully just doing the rebuilding database and then updating system software from here just works for you and you guys are good to go and you don't have to face this issues and you're good basically good to go uh so yeah that's basically it guys if you guys overall like this video uh please smash that like button it helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you guys are having any other error please let me know in the comment section below i'm more than happy to help you guys out figure out a way how to fix the error provide you a new solution or an existing solution whatever the case may be dive into those and hopefully kind of go from there if folks have a better solution please let me know in the comments below i'm more than happy to like kind of like chime that in let other people know as well make a video on it if needed so folks can know like hey this is also a solution that they can try uh so yeah, that's basically it but other than that bogey me out peace